Shane Watson here for Pissy Sports. I'm lucky enough to be joined by Bradley Skeet. How are you, Bradley? All good, mate. Good, good, good. Obviously, you came off a, a great victory against Shane Singleton. Um, there was a bit of a heated uh, moment in the weigh-in. Yeah. Uh, he squared up a little bit. It's a different side we've seen to you now. Everyone saw you as a nice kid yeah. you know, who can obviously box. But now we saw that like spite from you. We yeah. saw it in the ring and obviously we saw it at the weigh-in. Yeah. Is this another side that you want to start showing the boxes that you have? Yeah, do you know what? It's 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 not me. I don't go go into fights when like when you have like, arguing and shouting and swearing at each other. But it, it just got under my skin a bit. Um, it was a it was a long process that fight. It was I was meant to fight him in October, and it was just a it was just a long. It was just felt like like I was getting held back a bit defending my British title. He was the mandatory, so I had to defend against him. But uh, yeah, it was just by the time it got to the way, and there was needle there, and he, he said a few things, and which I didn't like, and then I just yeah, I got, went off went off my hand a little bit. <laughs> so how was everything after the fight? Was everything cool? Like all yeah, sort of, yeah. Do you know what? It's, it's just right, one of the things in it. Um, I, I I made it quite clear what what I thought of him, and and, and I told him what I was going to do to him in in the ring, and and I went in in there, maybe with the wrong mindset because the first couple rounds I was a bit stiff and not flowing how I usually do but once I got once I relaxed and got my flow then it was, it, it was a good night. And moving on from that victory you've got Dale Evans who's yeah. next up he's known as a big puncher I mean everyone said that if he had the right training camp for Sam Eggington obviously after knocking him down they reckon he could have beaten Sam Eggington yeah. that night and yeah. obviously he beat him in, in prize fight. Prize fight probably, yeah. So yeah so obviously that's a very tough fight. Yeah. Um, what kind of fight are you expecting from Dale Evans? Yeah. And moving on from that, winning in the British title outright, what sort of uh, names are you looking at after that? Yeah, with the Dale Evans fight, he, he, like I say, he's tough, he's strong. Um, he, he's, 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 he's a strong guy, but if you look at his record, his record don't prove that he's strong. He's, he's stopped four in eight in, so, um, but you've got to respect his power. A lot of people say he's powerful. Um, He's had he's had he's had time and notice for this fight. He's been training for this fight, fight so there's no excuses. He ain't had a training camp for this one. He's mandatory, um, so it's, it's it's another mandatory I'll be dealing with. Um, but this is my last 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 defense to win my belt outright, and that, that's what I'll be doing. Um, it's, it's on a great show. I'm boxing in London, which I haven't done for a while, so we have some great support there, like like always. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking to win this outright, like I've, like I've said for a long time, and move on. Moving on, um, I want I want to mix at a world level. Um, I beat the current European champion. I beat him well, so I think I think I want to move on to, to world level. And I'm not saying I'm going to jump jump from winning my British title right to to fighting for world title because I, I know that's not going to happen. But just mix at world level. And there's there's some great names and great fights out there for me. Um, so I'm sure Frank Frank and the team can can sort them out for me. Um, obviously, it's going to be a first time on BT Sport as well. Yeah. Right? Something you've been eager to get on, and also not that. Um, so maybe like a WBO eliminator. Is that something you're looking at? Because I know you're very highly ranked in the IBF. I know you're highly ranked in the IBF as well. Yeah. Is that the sort of uh, fighters you want to look at? Like also, um, Golovkin trainer Abel Sanchez trains a fighter called Konstantin, Konstantin Pomarev, yeah. who's highly ranked in both of those governing bodies as well. Maybe a fight like that to That's jump right. right in the face of like someone like Manny Pacquiao. Exactly. To get to get the respect at, at world level, you need to fight. The world ranked opposition, and the, 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 there's some great world weights out, out there who's, who's ranked who's ranked good in the rankings. So if we we can get in the mix and get some good fights, and it just takes you that step closer to to getting that world title shot, that's what I'll be looking to do. So do you feel like you've done all your learning that you need to do? Obviously, you've um, gone through the British rankings. Of, well, you've got to get past Dale Evans first yeah. as well, and then now you believe the world scene is there for you. Is maybe a rematch of Sam Eggington on the cards as well? Yeah, I can't see why not. Um, that's, that, that was a great fight. Um, we're on different paths at the minute. He's doing his thing, I'm doing my thing. But I'm sure if if if, if it meant if there was a, if there was a big title on 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 the line or maybe like say a, a final eliminate for a world title, then um, why not? Why why couldn't that happen? But um, yeah, he's doing his thing. I'm doing my thing. If we meet, we meet. If we don't, we don't. Um, but yeah, I'm just concentrating on on doing what I, I need to do to to get myself in that position. There's been a lot of com you've made a lot of comments on the Jeff Horn uh, Manny Pacquiao fight, saying that you believe you're a better fighter than Jeff Horn. That like, who is Jeff Horn? So is that a fight that you're confident you feel like you'll win? And when I say uh, win, I don't mean against Jeff Horn, against Manny Pacquiao. If the fight came, let's say the fight was happened straight after Dale Evans, yeah. is that a fight you would go into the ring believing you're 100 percent have got the better of Pacquiao. 100 percent, yeah. I, I go into every fight believing I'm 100 percent better and I'm going to win them the fights. Um, I'd, I'd all come across with with the Pacquiao. 
Um, fight. I've got to ask on Box Nation the question, out of the current world champions, who, who would you like to fight? And I picked Pacquiao. He's a, he's a legend in the sport and there's no disrespect of, of what the facts are stated. Um, the facts, what I stated was he's coming to the end of his career, which, which I believe he is. Um, he, he's doing a world tour and he, if he comes to England then I believe I, I should be getting the opportunity to fight him. I'm ranked high with the WBO. Um, and I've met the man, he's, he's tiny for a while, well, he's tiny, so I believe I believe I, I stand a good chance. Also, with Amir Khan here today, is that also a potential fight you would like to look at as well? It's a massive fight, it's a massive fight for me. Um, like I say, I've, I've, I'm not disrespecting all these top guys, and he's been there, he's, he's been world champion, he's, he's boxed some great fighters, great names, but for me, since, since a kid growing up, I believe I'm going to be world champion, and I, I won't be in the sport to, to not fulfil my dream, and and to try and get there, so to, to shy away from big names and big world title fights, and it, I'd be wasting my time. So the like the likes of Pacquiao, Khan, and then I, I'd love this. That'd be a great all British showdown. So why not? Well, thanks for talking to Fisty Sports today. Thank you. Um, we like to catch up with you. So we'll catch up with you before you fight Evans as well. Yep. And good luck with, uh, in sparring and training camp and Thank all you. sorts of stuff you got going on. Cheers. And we'll catch up with you soon. Nice one, mate. Thank you. Thanks.